my friends, now we shall calculate how many five card hands are possible using or with at least four spades. How many spades are there in a deck of cards? 13. It's just one full suit and 13 cards per suit, so 13 spades. And we want at least four spades, which means that we want, well, it's a five card hand, so we want either four spades or five spades. That my handwriting is horrible today. So because of the word or, what we're gonna need to do is essentially add four spades, or how many combinations we get with four spades, and the amount of combinations that we get with five spades. Okay? So for the four spades, we need to select four spades. And of course, one non-spade. Then the or, five spades. And in that case, of course, zero non-spades. But we don't have to worry about that because, of course, we're selecting none of those. So four spades, how, how many ways can we select them? Well, the, there are 13, and we're choosing four of them, so 13 combination four. And, and the end will be represented by multiplication, one non-spade. How many non-spades are there? Well, 39 cards left, right? 52 minus 13. 39. And from those, we're only selecting one of them. So 39 combination 1. Or, so we add now. So the and multiplies and the or adds, essentially, for, the, for this type of question. And uh, now 5 spades. We have 13 spades in total. Choosing 5 of them. Great. So I'm going to work this out with the calculator. 13 combination 4 is 715. 39 combination 1 is just 39. And 13 combination 5 is 1,287. Fantastic. So 715 times 39 is equal to 27,885. Five card hands with four spades and one non spade, plus 1287 five card hands with five spades. So let's add them up, and I get 29,172 five card hands with at least four spades. If you're required to use the formula and not the calculator to figure out and calculate combinations, I recommend you visit our factorials page to practice. Good luck.